Can you believe that I bought from Milanu against my will? This is a video that I want to do at some point, buying from Milanu and see if we can buy something good. But this time I bought from something else that was disguised as Milanu. I will tell you the whole story and we'll also open a few more packages that I have here to make a big haul. My name is Joelle and you're watching Fluffy Kawaii Joe, the channel where I try to show you that everybody can be kawaii. I do two Lolita videos a week, so please consider subscribing. Okay, so you might not know if you've not been in the Lolita community for a while, milanu.com is a website that is absolutely the worst possible to buy from because all they have are replicas and a really bad service and everything. So. This is the worst possible ever place you could buy Lolita fashion. And actually I bought from them in 2012, so seven years ago I looked at that. And I bought shoes that were okay and uh, a tiny small petticoat, we'll go back to that. And a uh, console from uh, Infanta and was actually a real console and the shoes were good. And also a bag, maybe the bag was also a replica. Anyways, it was not as terrible as buying a dress there, as people have told me. So recently what I had done is register to a bunch of um, Taobao resellers newsletters. So I thought that I could see the new things and maybe buy more things and something that I wanted to uh, start making is putting together a Lolita starter kit and having everything to get there for a coordinate that I could buy myself and sell on my website so that when people want to start and don't know where to start, they could have like their first full coordinate and a petticoat and everything from a safe place and then yeah, get everything that is all good and good together because I will check before. So I registered on that website called lollyshow.com. I had not seen it before, but it looked like a legitimate um, Taobao reseller and so the newsletter came and they had a huge sale like 50% off or something on some petticoats and the petticoat looked good on the picture and so I thought okay that would be cool to buy some stock of those petticoats while they are so cheap so then I could uh, have that in stock for people buying the starter kit from me and so I ordered, I think, five of them. They were like 10 bucks, so that was amazing. And But then the shipping was expensive, so I think in total I, I was at 87 or something. So I said, okay, for five petticoats, it's not bad if the quality is good. If it's not too good, then we'll see. Maybe I can use it for fashion shows, like stack them or whatever. And I received an email, thank you for your order from Lolita Show. This is your order recap from Lolita Show, and then, then, this happened. Receipt of your payment from milanu.com. So that means that, I don't know if milanu.com, by having such a bad image for Lolita, decided to make another Lolita site that they disguised and called it something else, just so it's not Milanu. But then their email address for PayPal is still milanu.com. I don't know. And I looked on the website to see if I it if the Milanu was written somewhere and it's really not. So I'm really shocked that I actually gave money to Milanu against my will. And now uh, the package is here and it doesn't look that big for like five petticoats. So I'm also imagining that I've been ripped off again. Because, yeah, the, the first petticoat that I bought, it was my um, problem as a new Lolita. It was really those tiny, stupid, tiny mini petticoats. It's called a mini petticoat, though. And it's in tall, like, terrible ones. Like, even if you put three on top of each other, it's not a real petticoat. But they were still $20. So I think, yeah, that was expensive and a rip-off for the quality. Because right now you can find good petticoats at... Um, Tell our stories at 20 or 30 dollars. So yeah, either they are super well packaged, which is possible because Chinese people are super good at squeezing stuff, or it's another rip-off. We'll see in one second. 
But, okay, I have to say, they shipped it by DHL. The shipping was $38, but it came in like under a week. So it's not bad. I do see two. I think this is a total ripoff. I think so. It looks like this is... Okay, so this is one. Doesn't look good, guys. And it's absolutely not like on the picture. No, I think this is Milanu again selling the crop stuff. Making it look like it was expensive. And... Yep, definitely nothing that I can do. And it is not the one that I bought. I will definitely try and get my money back because this is definitely not what I wanted. This is crap petticoats. This is exactly the one that I bought before. And this is tool, super hard, super uh, not comfortable at all. This is really, really scratchy and this will not give any proof to your dress. This is stupid. Okay. Do not buy from Lolly to show ever. And I will keep you posted if I manage to get a reference from that shady Milano disguised website. I will put a picture of what I actually ordered and you will see this is really not what I ordered. <sighs> I am so mad. <laughs> I am so mad. So definitely people who want to buy the Lolita starter bag, I will not give you those petticoats. I can assure you, you will not get those crappy stupid petticoats. I will maybe put them on my mannequin to make some proof. I don't know what I will do with those five petticoats. Maybe I can sell them for five dollars for somebody wanted to have an extra proof. I don't even know what to do with those. If you have ideas, please write them in the comments down below. It said organza and it was a huge, super poofy organza petticoat that was chosen, shown on the picture. This is definitely not what was on the picture. So total rip off. And you know what, before this video, I wanted to log in to uh, milano.com to see what I had bought last time. I logged into milano.com, I saw my order, and then I went back to Lolita show, and then I was logged in. And then it has a logo that says Milanu, like the M from Milanu, with my previous order. This is so bullshit, guys. Do not buy from Lolita show. This is a ripoff. Totally. Never go there. So this is now 2.5 months after I had issues with uh, Milanu and I want to tell you what happened in between. So I went on a website and I wanted to complain and the mistake that I did is that I did not want to create an account there and so I registered as a guest and when you do that it does not create an account on the website and then I could not log in back on my website to see the um, order that I placed and then on this I could kind of um, complain about my order so when I was talking to the customer service they said but you have to go it through the website but I told them I do not have an account they told me that they created a password for me and then it didn't work and then they tell me but you can send a picture to show and then while I was trying to contact them the um, the thing to send a picture was never working on the website and so the upload uh, picture on the website were not working and then I did uh, send, I, I uploaded that on my server and I sent them the link but they said they could not open it, they said we cannot do anything because you do not have a picture and so for at least one week it was just back and forth every day of me trying to send them pictures to show the proof but they could not accept anything that I told them because I was not doing it the right way so that was a little bit complicated. At some point they finally agreed to look at what I was showing them and said, oh yeah, maybe, what, what, are you sure it's not the same? And I was like, of course it's not the same. And I said, please send me the right one. And they said, well, let me check for the factory. Well, we are not able to send the right one. So this is where this is really a scam. The thing they advertise, they tell you they do not have it, they cannot have it, and they did not remove it from the website. They just sent you this crap instead, and they do not have the good one that they showed a picture of. So, 
stay away from that. So then at that point, they said, we can do a partial refund. In my head, I'm like, I spent money. I also bought them f with my company to be able to resell those petticoats. So I was like, I'm not losing any money of you being wrong and those petticoats are so shitty and crappy that I cannot do anything with it. I would not feel good about selling that crappy petticoat to anyone, even if it was like $5, it's still crap. It's no, I could not do that. So anyways, I would lose some money. So I said, no, I do not want a partial refund. I want you to give me a full refund. And uh, they did not agree about that. So I went to PayPal, I did a PayPal claim. And then um, the only way PayPal agrees to give you a full refund if, is if you ship back the merchandise. And I was lucky because the petticoats are, s are still um, light, but I think I still paid like 20 to 30 dollars in shipping from Switzerland to ship it. And also I had to pay extra because they need a tracking number. This is the only way that PayPal uh, is agreeing to give you money back, is that you give a tracking number of your shipping to back to the place. And then the only two times it happened, uh, the company uh, fighting me and not wanting to do anything um, had to abide by uh, PayPal said you have to offer them um, a refund if they ship the, the things back to them and so I shipped it I gave them I gave PayPal the tracking number and I don't know how much maybe they have a week or two or something after the package said delivered to acknowledge through the PayPal um, uh, issue resolution thing, um, visual resolution center. Anyways, um, through that to tell that they received it and the PayPal releases the money. And on those two occasions, that was clearly like scammy. Uh, it went for several weeks after it was uh, um, shown released, uh, delivered. And then PayPal just said, we have no info from uh, the person there. And it says, um, delivered so let's just give you the money back and then they talk about the seller I don't care anyways two and a half weeks after uh, I finally got my money back from PayPal the whole money but I did spend at least the value of two of the petticoats to ship them back so this is still a shame and this is still a scam from Milanu and from Lolita show and they also have cosplay show and whatever so do not go there please 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 and yeah that, that was just a mistake of me just to go oh let's try more things just to know I can tell people if it's good or not so yeah so in my case it was really bad and I did it so you don't have to so you're welcome okay I think the rest will be cool so let's open it so to start on a, another note I have a blouse that is second hand that I bought from Henuli herself. Nunu sold it to me. Uh, what's this one? This is another petticoat. Let's open this one now. It's funny. Okay. You know, my video. I will not buy from my little to trust anymore. The thing is, they gave me so much store credits that I uh, had to use it. And then I bought, I wanted to buy like two cookies to use my store credits and one of them was out of stock of course and then at the moment i could not find anything that i wanted so i had only that and so i still had more store credit and then i really wanted to get rid of everything from my little dress so i used my store credit to get this let's see if it's good oh they give me free tights that's nice that's very nice of them this is a Halloween black and gold tights. This is cool, I don't have any black and gold tights. They look really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, let's open that. This looks better. Still not super pretty, but okay, we'll see. The quality seems really better. Okay. Those are those tights that they gave me. They look super short, but usually they stretch a lot. Yeah, they do stretch a lot. I think it's gonna be okay. And they seem quite heavy. Yeah, they're quite heavy, so it's good for uh, Halloween and winter and uh, October, December. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Yeah, I like that. Thank you so much, my Lolita dress. That's very nice of you. Okay. 
This is it, guys. It looks way better. I'm so mad about the other one. I really have to get my money back. Okay. What I like about this, it does, it's supposed to be a crinoline and a petticoat to get there. <gasps> yeah, did you see that? <laughs> okay, so this is a crinoline with a bunch of overlays. Huh, okay. So this is it. So it is supposed to be several... Uh, how does it work? Oh, that's nice. I think you can open them. Yeah, that's cool. You can open it. Oh, it's super easy. The thing says adjustable and in my mind I had adjustable in length, but it's actually adjustable in width. So this is why you have the bones like that. And so because you can adjust the top and the second layer, you can make it a cupcake with a bigger at the top and a little bit bigger at the bottom and you can make it a-line with a tighter at the top and bigger at the bottom to make it a real triangle and then you can make also like they said everyday use with like super flatter petticoat so I think it's really cool I like the concept so I don't know if I will fit in it, maybe, yeah, maybe it's stretchy enough so I can fit. And I wanted to make a full video with me trying tons of different petticoats. That's good, I have one of those crappy ones to try. Um, and show you the difference of all the petticoats and crinolines and length and uh, width and the uh, A-line, cupcake, everything. So I'll have one more. I, I liked the idea very much. Uh, and maybe it will work with my dresses. I think I had one kind of look like that uh, that Marianne is, gave me for Secret Santa last year and it's actually too long for my dresses so it shows out. So I have not been able to wear it yet so I will try that. I like it. I think it's a good idea and it doesn't look crappy at all so it's good quality so if it works I think it should work with at least a few dresses, but the other one, no, 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 don't get this uh, Milanu um, Lolita show ever, no. Okay, so let's go back to more pleasant things. The package from um, Henuli, I have here a blouse. I think it's actually a bolero for sun. I have a mint cosmetic bag that I bought and one of my uh, subscriber, Dindy, that you've maybe seen in uh, some of my live streams, that was very generous with her donations in uh, Super Chat. She's amazing. And so she sent me something. So let's open it. Uh, okay, let's start with this. The package is so pretty. She put so many flowers on top of it. Super cute. cheaper version sorry for this cover this was the only way to keep art i hope it works okay so there's art in there and there's a four joel and she wrote my name correctly with the two dots on it that's so cute hello joel i am your fan you inspire me i hope you will like this little gift with love check fan dana dandy yay she's so sweet okay and there's something here oh my gosh you have so many accessories this Okay, wait, this is stuck together. This is a choker. Oh, this is so pretty. This is a ribbon choker with a key lock in maroon. I don't have that many things in maroon. Thank you so much. This is so cool. And oh, this is a pin, like a brooch with ribbon in white and pink. So pretty with jeans. Oh, that's so pretty. And a clip, a black hair clip with tiny, tiny um, rhinestones. And this is a charm. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. 
This is a tiny um, cup with the Decoden on top of it, like cream and flowers. This is so cute. Thank you so much, Dandy. Okay, let me see the art. And I think uh, the other day I saw our first interaction together on Instagram with her doing a fan art of me, like maybe a year ago or something. So that's super cute. I can't wait to see it. Oh, that is super cute. Whoa! That's amazing! Oh my god! That's so cute! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, it says everybody can we get away. Clearly, this is my new favorite wig that I wear all the time. That is um, the dark pink from uh, like Cherry, maybe, from Lock Shop. And then this is lovely, my lovely macaron from Lady Slot. And those are the fluffy Tory tights. And this is my bodyline blouse. And I recognize the choker and everything. Oh my god. She must have seen it. This is definitely a whole coordinate that I wore this summer. I don't remember at this exact coordination of everything where I did wear it. It was definitely in, um, in the US this summer, I'm pretty sure. And she took it from my Instagram maybe or a video. Thank you so much, this is so amazing. And it says everybody can be kawaii. And the stickers of macarons everywhere and it's signed dandy. It's so pretty, I'm so happy, thank you so much. I will definitely put it somewhere in my studio. My goal is to have all the arts that I have for my coordinates in uh, frames all around my studio, even though it's not in all my value all of my videos because I will have limited space, I will have stuff in my studios around. So I will definitely, definitely put yours in my studio. Thank you so much, Dandy. Oh my God, you're amazing. And those accessories, I can definitely use them. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, such a better note after all those petticoats. Okay, let's do the cosmetic bag also. This is something uh, random, not Lolita, but Every time I go to a big event, I have tons of makeup that I need to bring and uh, to fit everything, I need to have at least two of those regular size uh, makeup bags. And I saw my friend having, I don't know if this is, I, this is maybe not what I wanted. Uh, I think Lynette had one like that. Let's see if it's what I wanted. Is it another disappointment? It is not. It is what I wanted. Okay. Ta -da! Okay. So you can put all your makeup here in the middle and then you can close it with this. You close it with this and then you flip it. So it looks like that. So first of all, it's kind of big. You can put a ton of makeup in it, but then you open it on the table, it takes a huge space, but you have everything. You see everything. It's not like you have this super thin thing and you have to, what do I need and take everything out. You just open it all, you see everything and then you close it back and you take it with you and that's amazing. And of course I wanted a mint one and I even have some uh, extra pockets here. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh, okay, so there's two of them, sorry. You, there's two of them. Yeah. Two. Two. And you're, you can put a ton. Maybe not as much as I would have thought. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see how much space you have. It's kind of big for makeup. I mean, it's at least, at least the two small ones that I had can fit in that, maybe even more. Yeah, 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 I think I can fit a ton. Yay! The cords are blue, like sex blue. I don't mind. It was really cheap from AliExpress. I can put you the link down below if you want. It will probably be an affiliate link, so if you buy that or anything else, I might receive a commission. But I want to share because it's, it looks cool. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yay! Okay, next. Let's do the blouse also from AliExpress. I had one already in white, I think a cream. Uh, ivory and I think I bought the same one in pink maybe we'll see 
because I think I stained two of the one and also uh, it's first it was very comfortable as some kind of light sweater for the summer and also the main use that I use is to cover myself from uh, the sun so it's a sheer like chiffon uh, with sleeves and you have a hood and it is pink it's with a Lolita princess I don't know from which Togo brand it is but it's a legitimate thing and yeah it's exactly that like the other one that I had in um, light uh, in ivory so yay yeah Lolita princess I don't know if Lolita princess is Lolitimus, Lolly Times. I don't know if this is the Tobo store. Anyway, um, yeah, I love it. Let me show you how it is. So it is size large. It is a real size large. I fit in it. And I think, yeah, the ivory, I have it here, that's why I'm looking there, uh, was very cool to uh, go with anything. But also, I think, for example, for this coordinate, the pink one will uh, go super well with it. I would complement it. The, the white one will also have gone with it. But I think I liked it so much, I wanted a little bit of different uh, colors also to have. So you can make a bow here. And also I've used this with my regular wardrobe because I uh, needed it, like I needed to be covered from the sun in the summer and I loved it. So it's really, really nice. You can use it as a polaro or you can use it for the sun. And you have a hood that it's very pretty. It's a little bit like, oops, um, one of those uh, big white hoods, like little red riding hood. I really like it. It's really amazing. And so I have such a light skin, I really cannot go in the sun, I will get burned immediately, uh, get red, and so really I hate putting on sunscreen, I just hate it. It's such a burden, and then your skin is so sticky, and it's another thing you put on your skin. I don't know how good this is, so I'm happy to just cover myself from the sun, and basically I go the whole summer without really putting on sunscreen. Unless I will definitely be for hours in the sun, but I can, yeah, I can go several hours with just that and be covered. And when I, you know, when there's a lot of sun, I put on, uh, bring on the hood, so it hides my face and my neck, and I'm all good. So I love it, and I look so stylish in it too. Yeah, 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 definitely, I love it. Okay, so this haul is getting way better. And um, last is from Hanuli. It is not a Hanuli blouse. I don't think so though. I think it's uh, maybe a bodyline blouse. I don't remember which one I got. But she was selling her own stuff and I bought it from her. There are two things in there. What is that? What? She gave me free stuff? What? 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I bought just one thing I wanted to buy more, but it was already sold out and she sent me three things. Nudu, you're amazing. And oh my god. I don't know if this one is from Nulu or not. I've seen this. I think it's a mirror. Cocoa cookie, I like. It's amazing! This is so nice of you! It's a mirror and a comb. I use, I use the comb most often. And it has some dots here to stay in place in there to make the cream and ah, it's amazing it's so 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 cool and this hurts so basically it's like an area thank you so much Nunu this is so cute thank you you know I'm a little bit sad because she's not going to be super active with her brand anymore and so since she's from Korea maybe she will not go all the time as often as she would have been to Europe to attend all the events I don't know, but okay, let's open this. I think it's a blouse. Oh my god. I should not get too excited. Maybe somebody else bought it and she mistakenly shipped it to me. So, I have to check with her. Maybe because she was so busy shipping stuff to a lot of people. So, it might be a gift, but it might also be somebody else's uh, order. So I don't want to be too excited. Oh my god, I love it. It's so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. And there's a... Ooh, okay, since it's transparent, you have a tank top to go with it under it. Okay, so I would say this. Nunu, if it's definitely for me, thank you so much for this extra gift and this one. I really, really appreciate it. It's so nice of you. And if it's from somebody else, then I will absolutely uh, ship it to the right owner if uh, it was a mistake to be sent to me. So thank you. Okay, I think this is a one that I bought. But I'm kind of confused <laughs> because I wanted several ones and ones were sold out. So I don't know. Maybe she shipped the whole order to someone now. Maybe this is someone else's order and uh, this is mine. I don't know because it's yeah, with the tag from Switch Dreamer. Okay, definitely it is my size. It's definitely big enough. And it's so pretty, so pretty from Switch Dreamer. New with the tag. I love it. I love it. It's also pink and white and so many lace. You know what? I will just pause the video, check what I ordered from Henry Lee, and go back to you to tell you if it's mine or not, and if I'm allowed to get excited or not. So I messaged her, but it's quite uh, late where she lives, so we'll see. But this is definitely the one that I bought, and I did not even remember that it was new from new with tag. So yay! Something that I don't really like are those. Oh, okay, they're too be tight on the side. Okay, okay, this is nice. I don't like when they're on the back because it makes a big knot on your back and then it's uncomfortable when you sit. But on the side, I guess it, may, it can make it cute. But again, if you wear it under a JSK, it makes weird things in your JSK. But maybe it's thick enough to wear with the skirts, but I don't really have skirts. Anyways, I love it very much. It's really nice. Uh, it's a nice fabric, not too, too plain, and a lot of nice lace and ribbons and everything. Kind of OTT, but very, very pretty. So, yay. Okay, so very good stuff and very bad stuff. I will probably know if I can get any refund or anything or exchange in those uh, petticoats by the time I edit this video. So, I will write something somewhere in the video so you know what happened with those, if I could get a refund, probably they will not send me the real thing, they were just misleadingly selling a good quality thing for cheap and shipping their crap there. I think it was totally on purpose, totally, I'm pretty sure. I would be super surprised if I end up getting what I wanted in that case, but if I can at least get my money back, that would be amazing because I will definitely fight it in PayPal if they don't want to refund me directly. Anyways, so be warned, do not buy from lolitashow.com. This is Milanu in disguise. Milanu is bad. Definitely, definitely, they don't even send you what they have in picture. This is what they do also for... Um, Replicas, they have the pretty picture of the, I don't know, metamorphosed dress, a innocent world dress, and then they sent you a crappy handmade, uh, a crappily made replica that is not even what they have in picture. I mean, if they would at least sell the replica and take pictures of the ugly replica, this is something, this is already bad, but no, they show you the pretty real picture and send you something totally else and totally crappy. So do not buy there. Do not. <sighs> I wanted to make a video I bought from Milanu on purpose, uh, but I don't really know what I should buy. That Should I show that it's safe to buy some of the stuff, maybe shoes or stuff like that? Or should I try and spend my money and buy a crappy dress just to expose them even more? I don't know, maybe that would give good ideas to newbies to buy there and it is, it's not what I want and I don't want to support them. So I don't know, do you want a video about that and tell me what uh, angle should I have for this? Because this, at least this one is not helping them. Definitely not. Okay, but Nunu, thank you so much for everything that you shipped. 
This is going to save my life when I travel. This is going to save my skin. Thank you, my little dress, for those uh, free tarts. Thank you so much, Dandy, for that amazing art that is here and I don't want to take because I will probably damage it by taking it. But thank you so much. It was really, really amazing of you to send me this. You did not have to and you're such a nice subscriber. I really appreciate having you in my community. So guys, if you also would like to support me, uh, like Dandy and uh, everybody else who is uh, in the Patreon community, I uh, will put a link in the description to my Patreon. I have tons of super cute and cool rewards in exchange of your support there. And uh, remember, everybody can be kawaii. Bye bye.